Hey everyone, welcome back. I know that it's actually been a while since we've done anything and I really haven't known what to do, but we're back playing some software ink. I'm not really expecting this specific series to go really that incredibly well, just because, well, it's an older game, but it was recently updated, unlike some games that are AAA titles that say they're going to get updated and never do. This one still gets updated from time to time. The last major update that this thing had was actually back in March of this year, and so a couple months ago. And honestly, I'm really happy to be playing this again. I did test this out because I wanted to make sure that at least I remembered how to play before making a complete fool and ass of myself. Yes, uh, it's probably going to happen anyway because I only played it for a little bit of time. So there's probably a lot of things that I don't remember or I just don't know how to do. You can make fun of me in the comments down below. But anyway, if there is a specific game that you guys would like me to play, then by all means, go ahead and leave that in the comments down below as well. But anyway, we are going to be playing some software ink and there's a couple new features. One of the things is the personality traits that are actually located over here. Now, I might have to make this UI a little bit bigger so you guys can see it a little bit more, but I am playing it in 4K, the joys of having a 4K monitor and uh, I already made this bigger, believe it or not. This thing is at 140, 150% and it still looks really small to me. I, I, I don't know if I like it or not yet. But anyway, um, the other thing is I made just my character just real quickly. We're obviously going with my uh, colors on my channel and we're going to be naming my company Gamco. And uh, obviously Game Recorder, if you can't figure that out, then <clears throat> you know where the door is at. But anyway, uh, there's something that's a little different that I actually did a little bit of research on. And we can actually have more than one founder, which means in theory, we should be able to get things done quicker and not have to pay additional people, which is actually quite cool. So um and from what i read is you can eventually buy them out or they can retire and you can take over their shares of the company now obviously we'd be losing somebody very productive at that point in time so i don't really know if it's worth it because you're not paying them it's not like they're taking anything specific away from the company but uh maybe i'm just missing something uh, maybe it's possible but uh, so we're going to do that. Um, I'm not going to customize the next character, but we're just going to have a rando person be a founder with us. We're only going to have one other play person, but you can have up to four if you want to. Now, the thing that's uh, a little bit more additional that you can go above and beyond is the fact that um, you can uh customized your traits a little bit more and you do need to do these so i'm gonna go with fast learner i did read these a little bit so if you guys go with something different if you have ever played this then let me know but um, i'm gonna go with uh fast learner i'm also gonna go with slow walker and i'm also gonna go with nobody will take the elevator with me because that's really not gonna apply for a while and later down the road, maybe I'll just put an office at the bottom floor and then I'll never ride the elevator anyway. And I'll put stairs in the building. That's probably a few episodes from now, if we even get that far. Hopefully we do and we'll see where it goes. But um, I do want to do, let's see, what was the other one? Uh, yeah, not affected by chaotic environments. So I'm going to do that because we're just going to be a workhorse and that's about it. And I'm going to put it, the um, personality traits for the same uh, with this person as well. It just makes it easier that way. So there we go. We got we got Gamco, Gameco, or whatever you are, however you want to pronounce it. We're going to start on medium difficulty. I'm going to go two days per month. Um, I've never really done this before, um, but you can really put eight days per month. Um, I've always done it at one. So you guys will have to let me know if you guys have played this again in the comments. If you do more than one day or what you guys prefer we're going to start as early as possible 1980 is the earliest that we can start we do have some traits down here that we can actually go ahead and put down here as well so let's go ahead and do that so my idea because we can have more than one person starting is to divvy up the specialization a little bit more than we have in the past so say i want 
um, Avery here to be a really good at designing audio and hardware and um, just awesome at designing it, awesome at programming it, and you know, and just is okay on the 2D portion of it, right? And then we'll go, you know, you're going to be awesome at the audio as far as designing it. So you're just like the perfect audio person there is. Now with me, I'm going to go ahead and do the opposite. I'm going to go ahead and do system 2D. I'm, and this doesn't really matter. I mean, you can pick literally whatever you want. It seems like I'm going to be more focused on audio in the long run anyway, as far as development goes. So because I'm going to do something a little bit different than I've ever done. Most of the time when I ever start this series or play this software, Inc., I've always, and I repeat always, I've built a um, operating system for my first software. I want to start with like a 2D editor or a game, perhaps, you know, we got to get, we got Gamco and well, that's impossible, right? I mean, that's what we should be doing. We should be, be developing games. So uh, a leader, I don't really care what I am. Gonna, I'm, I just want to be really good at multitasking and automation. And I'll do a little bit of HR. So that means I need the other guy to be all HR, all socialization, and then maybe something a little bit else. Let's go ahead and pick up Avery. So we got HR, socialization, and multitasking. And then the last one is going to be service. Um, unfortunately, we can only pick which one we want. I am gonna have, at least for the time being, having everybody do, I'm gonna be paying some royalties to other companies to market my stuff, at least at the beginning of the game. It's something that I've never really been that great at is marketing, but eventually I will have a marketing department. I'll also have a law department as well, but I'm gonna make both of my guys um, support full support because we're going to need it in the long run um support usually is by far the biggest department that you ever have in this game it seems like uh, that's just from what i've seen now we are going to start at very humble beginnings we're going to go with a garage space so it's only we're only going to get you know 24 um area um but it's really all we can afford it's only the two of us at the beginning anyway. If we needed more, we could go ahead and do that, but we're not going to. So I'm going to go ahead and do, um, I'm going to pick the garage here in just a second. Now there is one other thing that I do want to point out that they have added is the creativity aspect of it down here. Now there are things that you want to be careful if this is something that you decide to choose to do. And that is you have to pay attention what they actually are asking for so the employee will take five percent of gross revenue from the products they design so if you have four people they're taking 20 percent of the gross that means that's less money that you're going to get for the company to develop something later or to expand or hire more people whatever it is that's 20 percent less income if you use four founders anyway that that's a possibility that could happen also this specific one wants their private office, which means that you need to make sure that they all get their own space. So you're gonna have to set it up however you possibly can to make sure that they have their own private office. And then some of the pre-planned buildings, at least at the beginning of the game before designing your own building, can get a little bit uh, tedious and time consuming and uh, kind of nitpicky to make sure that they have their own office. So just be careful of that. Now the other one, is going to be a visionary so we got private office we got also royalties like we had before but we also have the ip ownership so they get exclusive rights to design sequels and take all trade income for any ip they help create so that just makes it a little bit more difficult i'm just gonna go ahead and do ordinary i guess i i mean i don't really know if there's super perks from this or not and then you can also choose what you want them to specialize. Now, this is the first time that I'm not going to be using any mods, but I do have a couple a couple over here that we could take a look at. I do want to do, you know, more gaming, but I don't know if it's something that I should really dive into, at least as of right now. So I think we're just going to leave a basic album. I've never done that. I've never actually played a 
pull through series with anything besides using mods <laughs> I mean, unfortunately so um, i want to try it and i wish that we could change this but it kind of looks like my cat smoky so he's just laying on top of the computers usually he's not on the computer my cats have never been on the computers the cats have always been in my lap so cat you're gonna have to move from there to my lap in just a second so let's get anyway let's go ahead and pick our map and we're gonna go with the garage and kind of get started now, I don't know how far we're going to get with developing our first software, at least at this point in time. Because um, it's going to take a little bit of time to go ahead and start to really like develop all this. But we're just going to slow this down. Um, we have different keys that we can use to kind of move things around. You can use the mouse, you can use the arrow keys, you can use the WASD keys. Uh, you can use the Q and the E to go up and down. Um, and I think there's ways to like... Whoa, no. Um, I thought there was a way to like pivot, rotate things. I, I don't remember how to do that. That zooms in and out for the mouse. I can't remember. But anyway, let's go ahead and get uh, some stuff in here. Um, I'm gonna go cheap for the time being because it's just us. We'll go with some black desk. We're gonna go here and here, and then we'll put the other guy over there um let's do maybe a couple of cubicle walls uh we'll rotate that there um let's grab a chair grab how much is this one 400 Ooh, yeah we're gonna you see that's a two thousand dollar chair Or give me a damn back massage for that jeez okay anyway um i think i have a oh okay well, i guess it doesn't save it between playthroughs uh so we're just going to change the color of this one we're just going to go with it being dark gray we're kind of, we're kind of a bland company for now we're going to make things interesting because i am going to use the colors of my actual gaming channel in the company itself so that will be really cool so let's go ahead and um let's duplicate this where's that at that's right there Yeah, sure. Uh, we're gonna put a lamp. Face it that way a little bit. Oops, I thought I was holding shift, but apparently I was not. And now let's get a 1980s Apple IIe computer right there. And oh gosh, I gotta remember to always hold shift. If I want to do more than one. Um, the other guy is the artist. Well, we're both technically artists, but I'm gonna do one of these because this is like an artist pad draw the drawing tablet i don't know if they even existed in the 80s or not but whatever we're not even going to go there and uh, that should be really about what we need now if i remember right your owners really don't need to, to worry about thirst or anything but i am going to go ahead and throw in the water cooler just because i can and we're also going to do a vending machine just in case i don't think i need to worry about this but whatever and then we're gonna go ahead and put a plant right next to the water water uh cooler just to kind of kind of give it something now the one thing that i have noticed big time is we are going to want to put a smoke detector in here somewhere so i'm going to go ahead and throw in right there i'm also going to throw in a security camera because um yep and we're gonna have it facing down right to the door so as soon as they come in and then I do want a sprinkler, but the question is, where is it? That is a real question. There it is. So let's go ahead and put one there. And I guess right about there. That's good to me. Now we do need some lights in here. So let's kind of get rid of that. And let's... um outdoor lamp where's the wall one yeah i think these ones are really cool so we'll put one there um put one over here by the bathroom and let's put one over i'm where i guess whoever's gonna be sitting over here 
one of us will be one of the founders will be so there's light there and then let's go ahead and get ourselves maybe a couple paintings we got we got a cat painting that we can go with up here and we're gonna go with the white one we'll put one there and then we'll put um another painting behind this lamp right here but this one we'll do of the tree something like that that looks pretty good now the one thing that i've noticed in here is that they have rugs now and i maybe i just never noticed them before but there's two different types there's the circle and then there's the rectangle and then there's like different like patterns that you can go with go with like this pattern or this pattern and then what's really neat is you can actually change all of the colors now there are more like styles that you can go with when it comes to the square or the rectangle rugs so i think what we're going to do is do this so and then if you want to move it over like a little bit more you can hold alt and then you can have a little bit more placement options of where you want that to be so i'm just going to put it like smack right in the middle and then like i said we can actually change the color of that so we can go go in here and then let's change the this color to our color of our company um which what's what it will be um and then we've got blue here which blue doesn't really go with anything so let's kind of make this more i guess make this more grayish then secondary, let's make that like black. How's that look? That looks kind of cool, right? I mean, it's neat. Ish. I guess. Wait, why is... I thought I changed the color of this. Did I not? Then we're going to save that style. Then we need to click on this chair if I can get it. There we go. And done. All right, let's continue our day since we're like almost 20 minutes into this. Okay, and I can't reach that light. Okay, so that is kind of unfortunate. So... I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to put in a... Looks like a light maybe like in the middle of the room somewhere. Stupid. All right, so let's get rid of anything that's hanging on the ceilings just so we can see things a little bit better. Okay, so we're going to delete this then. Sorry, yes, we're deleting it because apparently we can't have it. We can't have nice things around here. All right, so um, now the first thing that I would really like to do is I want to make a game. I think that's actually where I want would like to focus on right now. So let's go ahead and do development. We got our people coming to work. There's me. Oh, there's both of us. There's Avery and me. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and choose what we're going to do. We're going to do game. And then we have different options. We can do RPG, adventure, simulation, sports, RTS, really whatever we want. I think I'm going to go after just RPG right off, the, right off the bat. Now, what we can do is click on this advanced button here. We can go to an existing to see if by chance something is out there. So let's take a look at what was released the, the is the most current. We're going to take I think I'm going to take this one even though the royalties are more we're going to give some royalties to field tech just because we're going to be using their framework. Eventually we could develop our own but it just takes more time to produce things like that. So let's go ahead and click OK. And then we can go into our next page. Well, actually, what does it want for a product name? Town or town? That's that's hilarious. Let's just let's just do that. Uh, next page. So right now we got about a million people that are being reached. Well, what we should look at is. Now nah, we're not gonna worry about that, but we should look at like what types of software um that we can go ahead and make here uh and see what their customer reaches because the more people that we can reach potentially the more profitable our specific piece of software could be right i mean that's the theory behind it and right now we're only expected to get about 15 percent interest of that customer reach 
but we want to make that as high as we possibly can obviously we want to try to get this up to as close to 100 possible without having any wasted interest we don't want that so let's see what we can do here so anything that's blue means that it's already pre-developed that means we should be able to develop it a little bit quicker so as soon as we make an advanced hud starts make things a little ooh, three years so it doesn't put it up to 100 percent expansion pack targeting 100 percent this tells you how much uh, interest your product can generate for this add-on I don't remember this being here before, to be completely honest. This tells you how much interest your product can generate for this add-on with its current market targeting and features. Wouldn't you just be creating like a sequel? Just saying? Whatever, I guess I'll have to figure that out later. I'm not really sure. Operating systems, let's go ahead and take a look at what are the best operating systems. Let's look at the most amount of users. We've already been ported to um, OpticX 3, but maybe we should do the bot view 2. It is older though. Maybe we should do this one. Yeah, see if it has an add on category. Interesting. Now, there is something different that we could do here as well that I noticed, but I haven't really tr messed around with it is the subscription base. So, like Photoshop or anything that, um, like, oh, wow, World of Warcraft, like things like that that have any type of multi Vs, th that might be something that would be really good for a game later to see if we can really make it worth our time. But anyway, let's continue with this advanced stuff. All right, so we got 64%, 3% wasted. Let's just... Oh, six years? What the heck? Gates lead designer IP ownership under eight. Oh, okay. Mod support? Approximately years, four years, but if I went with what was it? Open world takes four years. What was I at that gave me like a hundred percent? Okay, so Approximately four years. Seventy. I think that's probably like our best case scenario, about two years. Because if I go up even like a little bit, if I choose anything, this like generates a huge amount of difference. But yes, it does go up, but it's our first game that we're ever releasing. So I think we're just going to leave it at that. Uh, oops, uh, next page. Now you can auto balance this to make it as best as possible, or you can use this little slider here to kind of figure things out. For the most part, I just use auto balance. It does a pretty good job at it, but you can tweak it if you need to. Sometimes it's a little off, but this seems good. I mean, we're not at 100% anyway, so if this was at 100%, then you'd want all of these lines to be as close to where they need to be as possible. And the next page, uh, we're going to do a publisher. And again, this is where we're going to have somebody else do the marketing. So not only are we going to be paying royalties to other companies and whatnot to be able to use their products that they have made, we're also going to be paying royalties to marketing company. So eventually this is why we're going to have to work on it but i'm not very good at marketing stuff at the beginning of the game or just at all in this game in software inc so i'm just going to leave it alone i guess um so there we go that's going to go okay for that and i think there was 
There was something else that was like 7% 7 too. So right now we're losing about 21% of our total of everything. Uh, not right now. So we want to see what the price is. It's 59.70. Let's just make it 65 bucks, right? Then core marketing for that. We're going to print all of our own stuff. Uh, we're not going to accept funding because at this, like, you're going to give us $32,000 and they want a double the royalty. No, that's dumb if we were to do that. So we're going to go ahead and continue. And they wanted that by when? I don't remember when they wanted that. Let's develop it. So they wanted to come out in about a year and a half. I guess that works. So ultimately now they're just going to start banging on their keyboards to try to get this thing out as soon as possible. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that because we're going to be working on contracts and things like that, you know, to try to make sure that we can stay in the green. Um, so let's just do a contract quickly because we just spent almost $2,000 basically that first day and they did flip flop computers because my character was actually sitting right here before. So let's slow down time just real quick. Take a look at this and do some contract work. Now, I like to work on the logistics, at least at the beginning. Now, some of these will have to do print stuff. And obviously, we don't have the capacity or even the capability of being able to do that. So we're going to ignore anything that has that. But we want the ones that give us the best amount of money, the most amount of money, which is going to be this one right here uh, for the least amount of work, right? I mean, that's like, the most amount of money, least amount of work. That's everybody's dream. Accept the work. And what we can do is we can fast some time and look, wow, they are developing that quickly. We're just going to go and develop it. You bang on the computers. Now oh, they're almost done with it already. Bang on some more. They're coding it like crazy. We can go ahead and promote finish. We just got $10,450 with outstanding quality. We actually increased a little bit of some stars for our business reputation. And now that will last us about five months which is well five days i guess which is actually pretty nice now i don't know why this he's not really doing anything what what are you doing hello not qualified for active tasks okay so this is where we could go ahead and get some more contract work because if he's not doing anything and he's not capable of designing something especially the iterations and you know whatnot because we didn't make him um anything to do with his like the writing or the designing portion of it so this is why we need to give him something to do so let's go ahead and pull up uh, this one we're going to go ahead and accept this work right here and let's go ahead and fast forward some time and then are you in iteration one and look at that the same day done finish oh wow we only got satisfactory we went way above and beyond yeah maybe we didn't quite do you know the best at figuring out some of the bugs that they were giving to us but whatever so it's important that whenever you see at least if you do multiple founders i guess um because your character if you do a solo playthrough it should be doing everything anyway or you're gonna have to hire some people to do certain aspects of the game but if you see them doing the z's like i did and they said that they weren't able to participate in whatever was currently going on that is truly when at least i feel it's important that we start working on some contract work so we can make some more money so we don't go into bankruptcy because we can use those funds without ever taking out any loans to hopefully order some copies when we get closer to that release time and we are gonna have to actually start developing it right now we're working on the iterations we're trying to figure out how we want to make this game work and we'll make it a little bit easier and the game will overall will be a lot better and then the other thing that's really bad is when we have to you know we sign a contract with a publisher we're limited of when we are we're forced into when we're going to be releasing it they're they're like this is the deadline no matter what oh hang on our guy is i don't know what he was doing nothing at that point and i didn't even see it right away but 
they tell us what they want we have to do it we have no say so whatsoever and unfortunately that dictates how successful our company can really be and how much time and energy we can really put into it i mean if we want to put and push out some outstanding pieces of software then what we want to do is make sure that we're spending as much time and as much of the resources that we are allocated into developing said software to make the best possible software it means that it should sell better theory in theory you know less bugs and things like that now there are some things that were added that we can actually update some of um the products that we do develop which i think will be really cool to see like different versions of them and that's what i'm kind of excited for is to see where some of that stuff goes and seeing the different updates over time you know we developed something in the 80s and then it's being still developed and updated through the 90s you know like minecraft or grand theft auto things like that which is pretty cool but anyway i think uh we're not going to be able to release this um, anytime soon i would love to be able to get through um, iteration number three before we even start developing it but we are about a year oh oh crap i didn't even see that so we got promote finish okay we got outstanding work okay thank god um wow i didn't even see that at first but we gotta pay attention z's not good need to get contract work immediately we're gonna wait till it's third iteration and we can actually go ahead and start promoting that. And I think that's where we're going to go ahead and finish this episode. It's been about a half an hour or so. And we can start developing it in the next episode. So if you guys are enjoying it, make sure that you guys stick around and stay with me. Because it should be a lot of fun and seeing where this goes. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming.